Tonight, in a 15-round international contest, world heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali defends his title against George Chavallo of Toronto, the Canadian heavyweight champion. This 15-round championship contest is coming to you direct from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Greetings, everybody. No matter where you're watching, greetings from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. We have a tremendous crowd, estimated at up to 14,000 people, on hand for the heavyweight championship fight between Muhammad Ali and the Canadian champion, George Chavallo. And with this huge crowd in attendance, there's a feeling of excitement and anticipation as both fighters are now in the ring. They have just uh, put their gloves on and we're just about two minutes away from the bell for round one. And now it's a great pleasure for me to introduce one of the outstanding figures in the world of sport. He's certainly no stranger to the television screen. The great fullback with the Cleveland Browns of the National Football League, Jim Brown. Well, thank you, Hal. It's a pleasure working with you tonight, and it's also a pleasure to say hello to all of those folks out there, and especially the ones in Cleveland. Jim, there's something about a heavyweight championship fight, isn't it? That feel about ringside. That... That's right, Hal. It's different than anything else that I've ever participated in. I'm not in the ring, but I'm as nervous as I can be. You know, it's something about it. I don't know what it is. You have... Uh had the feeling though before many championship games how do you feel just about two minutes before kickoff well you're scared to death really you're waiting for uh, the ball to come and when you get hit it's all over then you're ready to play before the before the kickoff it's really tough all right jim let's switch our camera's attention to the ring now and get into position good evening ladies and gentlemen some of the dignitaries in the ring with us at this moment you're cut off we're in george Chavello's corner ladies and gentlemen the wonderful brown bomber Joe Lewis! Joe Lewis! <laughs> the man at ringside coloring the fight on TV, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Football of the Cleveland Browns, Jimmy Brown.
They're both charged up. Make no mistake about that. A bell for round one. The champion wearing white trunks, scoring with a left and a right. Chevallo in black trunks. Left hook scored by Chevallo. Chevallo, of course, is expected to go to the line. the champion, that one connected, and a good jab. The champion has a certain type of jab. Some fighters will stand it. Chevallo will hammer to the body at every opportunity. He wants to wear down the legs of the champion. We're halfway through round one. Good left hook by the champion on Chevallo's face. The champ is connecting solidly with the left jab. to the end of round one. champ seems to be serious at times and when he's serious it looks like it's going to be a good fight but of course every once in a while he likes to test himself and he's playing a little bit Shabala has never been knocked off his feet and of course has never been knocked out you think the champ can do it to him i think he's going to have to do it i think if it goes all the way it could be a very tough fight for him that's herb ungerman in the Shabala's corner the man in the center is ted mcwhorter his trainer and Whitey Femstein is that white head that just flashes into your picture from time to time. Ten seconds to the beginning of round two. The champion is up on his feet, ready for action. And here comes Shamala, round two.
more than expected. He said it's my heaviest for my roughest and toughest fight. Cavallo hit him with a good left hook to the face in that exchange. somewhat but if you notice the blows are all on the side and there's nothing getting on the inside of it clay was out early at the 10 second whistle for now he makes a face at the referee and here they come for round three the champ is determined now to display his boxing skills very fast with hands and feet Possibly the fastest heavyweight of all time in that department. He's scoring consistently with the left jab. Play. Chivalo will just try to pull his way forward and get back to the body. But as Jim Brown pointed out, Clay is protecting the midsection while the blows are going to the side and back. Clay is completely unorthodox. He's liable to lead with a right or a left. You don't know what to expect. right to the midsection of play. Clay is completely unmarked from his fights. You'd never know he was a boxer. We're halfway through round three. He's a showman. He'll taunt you. There he led with the right jab. Come 
follow solidly with about three of those. A stunning left jab. That's rocking George. Ten seconds to go. his corner there, Jim. How does he look to you at this point? He looked like he's in better condition than I expect him to be, Hal, because he did bring training camp uh, quite a few times uh, before this fight came about. But he looks like he's ready to go for, uh, well, 12 or 13 rounds. I watched him, Jim. He came in here uh, weighing 225, and he weighed in today at 214 and a half. He took the weight off rapidly, and in the gym, he looked as if he could go all night. Of course, uh, this could be telling, because when you take weight off that fast, it sort of weakens you. Of course, he doesn't look weak out there right now. I think, too, if he does take his best shots at George Shimano, whose corner we're watching now, and he doesn't put him away, it could be a discouraging factor for him. That's very true, and I think that's the big question tonight. Can he actually knock this man out? Clay is out of the ring, though the belt has just run now. Here we go for round four.
Rob is a pull if he can corner him. Jeff collecting solid base. chances, I think that uh, it'll be a great fight. But uh, if he stands up and if he moves slow, it's just not going to be a good fight. But I think this round is uh, a good one for him. If he keeps it up, if he keeps moving, if he has the stamina, he can put up a real good fight. With about 30 or 40 seconds to go, he got in a smashing left hook and the limit connected solidly. I think it gave George, whom we can see here, a little bit of confidence, didn't it? That's right. I hope he comes out in this round and continues that type of attack because I think that's the only way that he is going to win this fight. That's his only chance. The champion is standing. Angelo Dundee, his manager, giving him last-minute instructions. attack 
of the round. Well, there's the cap, Jim. How's he look at this point? He looks a little tired at this point, Hal. I think uh, he knows that it's going to take a lot of blows to knock Chavalo out. Chavalo keeps moving in in this way. I think the champ might become a little worried. It seems to me that on the two occasions that uh, the champ has switched to the uppercut, George Chavalo here was able to move in uh, with uh, good left hooks uh, to the face and body. Those were the only two times in the fight that he really scored. That's very true. He's ignoring the jab whenever he can get play on the ropes. And he's coming in and trying to get his blows uh, in at that particular time. One thing that I can note, I think that Terrell has a stronger jab than the champion, because I saw uh, these two fights before, and his jab kept Chavalo back a lot better. Here we go with round seven. I imagine a lot of people didn't think Chavalo would be here for round seven. But he's here and still going strong.
Mike and Paul Brown. jabs in order to get in close but failed to score we're halfway through round eight because he has to move. Chavalo is going to keep coming in and uh, in the last few rounds it might be very interesting. There's one thing you can bet on with Chavalo. He won't quit. He's tough, strong, durable, and he'll go until he's exhausted. The champion up on his feet again as we get set for round nine.
to go in the round. appear to be punching with as much authority as he was in earlier rounds. 30 seconds to go in the ninth round. Follow Swartz with the right hook to the body and took the cover on the kick in exchange. Ten seconds to the end of the round. We get a look at George Chevallo. They're working on that left eye. That left eye uh, doesn't look like a problem, does it, Jim? No, it really doesn't look like a problem at this time. I think if Chevallo has the stamina, these last few rounds are going to be quite interesting because I know that Clay has to be somewhat tired at this particular point. You know, Chevallo has always had the stamina, but this time he weighed in at 216, which is about seven pounds above his ordinary fighting weight. That load may start to tell, too. That's very true. Here we go with round 10 coming up. There's the bell. Beneath this ring is a wooden floor. And beneath the wooden floor, the ice surface for the National Hockey League game. One of which takes place here tomorrow night. So they couldn't take the ice off. is a left hook.
trying to corner him and hammer away at the bread basket. Chavallo has taken the champion's best shots without giving an inch. The left hook connected, but not as solidly as Chavallo would have liked. Neither fighter has been knocked down. should have the way the champ opened up on him and I think that can be very discouraging this was a beautiful uh, ending of the round for the champ because he, hit, he had some good blows in this some hard blows Chavalo did not look like it uh, it really affected him we're moving over here now to uh, the champ maybe we can pick up a little sound let's try it
champion is unmarked. Shimano has some swelling around the left eye. But nothing to worry about. Halfway through, round 12. in the last three rounds, Jim. You care to make a guess? Well, actually, I think it's going to be uh, to the champion's advantage to keep boxing, keep scoring, and probably forget about the knockout. Of course, I was hoping he would go for the knockout just to see if uh, he did have that punch. I think he has taken his best shots on occasion and found that uh, George just didn't go down. That's right. There have been uh, two occasions that that has happened. That's Irv Ungerman who's just facing the camera. The manager of George Chevallo. <laughs> Round 13 coming up. There's the bell. Chevallo's up first this time.
13. Shavala knows if he could hit him that one deathly shot, he'd be seconds away from fame and fortune. Jim, there was a lot of criticism about this match. And a lot of people were saying it never should have been held and that it was some sort of a social injustice being foisted upon the customers. <laughs> they sound rather happy, don't they? That's right. The fans seem to be very happy tonight, especially when uh, Chevalo gets in a couple of good blows, and that he has done tonight. Champion has now gone further than he has ever gone in his career before, 13 rounds. He looks fresh enough. He looks like he can go another two. Oh, yes, he's definitely going to be able to go another two, uh, Hal. But I think in his mind is uh, the last Patterson fight, wherein he did not finish Patterson when people thought he could. Round 14 coming up. tired right now, Hal. There's Joe Lewis, who had his head up just uh, the top head on the screen. 
Well, they have the corner uh, filled up with celebrities. Uh, Drew Bodini Brown, I think, is over there. He's not working with him, but he did work with him two weeks prior to the fight. That's Ted McWhorter facing his the arms. As you know, well, uh, Brown worked with Floyd for many uh, years. McWhorter is exhorting the Canadian champion. Gotta go out there and do it in the 15th round and try to fill them out. This is it. The 15th round coming up. Commissioner of Athletics, L.M. McKenzie. The five-point must system used in the scoring of points. The winner of a round must receive five points. The loser, a lesser number. If a round is scored even, each fighter is to receive five points. The scoring is decided by a majority decision of the referees and the two judges. So now, we await the count, the decision of referee Jackie Silvers and the judges, Tony Canzano 
and Jackie Johnson. There's the official decision, ladies and gentlemen. Referee Jackie Summers scored. The Hall of 73, George Chabelle, 65. Muhammad Ali, 74, George Cervello, 62, the winner!